bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. How are you doing? Um, very quickly, I want to talk on the subject, how to enter into the realm of accuracy. All right. You know, I told you before in previous teachings that the prophetic is just a level in the realm of the spirit. All right. So not everything in the spirit are accurate. I told you it's still in the spirit that the realm of illusion is. When you hear in the spirit, it means in the realm of the invisible. All right. The invisible realm. Okay. So there are the prophetic is also part of the invisible realm. But there are certain things that makes you to operate from the accurate side of the realm of the spirit in the prophetic okay so now i'm going to quickly uh mention one this is just the part one we are going to be taking this series uh as the lord will help us father we give you praise we give you honor take all the glory in the name of jesus father even as we listen to your teaching we ask you we pour out your spirit upon us father let your gift be released upon your sons and your daughters your ministers your prophets apostles evangelists teachers pastors that are watching me now cause them even even those who are not into ministry, Lord, I ask you, we cause them to hear your voice and to see in the spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So now, um, like I said, I want to talk on entering into the realm of accuracy as relating to the prophetic. All right, I want to show you something very quickly in the book of um, John chapter 4, um, yeah, John chapter 4, verse, um, verse 24, it said, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit. And we already know that the one of the greatest spirits God has put out in this dispensation is the spirit of prophecy. I'll pour my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Now, before that verse 24, verse 23 says, For the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father. In spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him and now the Bible is saying God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth I want to tell you that one of the realm that will push you to the realm of accuracy one of the things that will push you to the realm of accuracy in the prophetic is the prophet is the, is, is the worship dimension is the worship dimension now I told you before that the prophetic is like channeling there is a teaching I did on channeling the prophetic vision, something like that. Now, the prophetic is just like, let's say, there is a radio, and you are trying to tune into a particular frequency. If you can get to that frequency that is, um, uh, they are talking about news on a particular thing, you begin to hear the same news. So, worship, true worship, tune you to truth. And if you are worshiping in truth, you will receive message, true message that are true from the spirit. That is why you see prophet like Elisha. We say, go and bring the mystery and play before me. A lot of prophet likes um, music to go on while they are prophesying. The reason is because the prophetic go alongside with worship. I hear me. If you can worship God in truth, it it, it is the prophetic. It makes message to come from the realm of truth. All right, the Bible said the deep call it to the deep. If when we talk about true worship, we are talking about genuity, it has to come from the heart, it has to be genuine. And true worship has nothing to do with grudges. You can't be uh, engaging in true worship and you have grudges in your heart, you can't be engaging in true worship and there is an unbelief is in your heart, you can't be engaging in true worship and unforgiveness is lying there it, ha it has to be very pure and genuine so worship is one of the tools that tune men to the realm of accuracy a true worshiper always will be tuned to the true side of god where he will be hearing true messages from god all right there are some there are some background noises around but i i know you are hearing me now so true worship is one of the things that tune people strongly to the realm of accuracy all right you see me most times when i come live i worship god all right because even if i do it just for a short while i get tuned immediately because it's not something that just start today and when we when the bible said true must worship him in truth and in spirit which means the message is going to come to you in spirit 
is not going to be visible like some of you are waiting to just see it on in, in at your front like this is going to be in the spirit and he said in truth you have to be genuine for them that come to god must believe that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him three keys that will make you to be accurate in the realm of true worship that will make you to have that level of true worship the first is belief you have to believe in what you are saying you have to believe in the worship you are rendering to god all right you have to believe in it the second thing is uh, from that particular scripture there that must believe that he is the rewarder of them that diligently you have to be diligent genuine you have to be diligent genuine let your worship not be as a result of you want to hear him let it be that you are doing it becomes a pattern it becomes a habit it becomes a dwelling then the third thing is truth you must not dwell in guilt all right one of the things that kills a lot of prophetic people is the dwelling in guilt because maybe they did something they committed an offense some hours ago or something the devil now encompass them with guilt so when god is trying to speak he said no god cannot speak to me i'm not sure it's god because i just committed sin or something just happened i just got angry i just did this i don't know the devil will load you with guilt and when guilt is available the voice of god cannot come guilt itself kills true worship and when true worship is not around it is impossible for you to receive true message from god all right so you have to work on your worship life very well it's very important a lot of prophetic people flow in the in the in worship realm in fact almost every prophet flow in that realm even though there are some that don't even use that realm to enter the prophetic port is is a very is a very great key that connects you to the frequency of the voice of god so as you practice from today the lord is going to increase you in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you that grace will speak for you Letuki katabanekatus et velhenus ikia de ten de filaharus et vina harates ia. Dunga te beniki gabrandes e fikalahades ia. Lord, I release grace upon your sons and your daughters. I ask that you open their eyes and their ears to hear you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, let your spirit be poured upon all flesh and let your sons and your daughters prophesy. Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. So I'm going to see you in the part two of this series. And uh, the Lord is going to help us. I want you to follow very well. You are just watching for the first time. Go back and watch all the teachings. Subscribe and make sure you stay tuned in and connected and you will begin to grow. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to see you in the next teaching. God bless you.